So usually it's pretty cold in the morning because the sun hasn't come up yet. And I guess it was really cloudy earlier because you can kind of see the sun through the clouds. But in about an hour, all this snow will be gone. And I'm not even exaggerating. Once the sun comes up, it gets so much warmer. And that's part of the reason why yesterday was so cold because there was no sun yesterday. It was super cloudy. Ah! I just got a huge drop on my head. It was really uncomfortable. Um, yeah, so... You can even kind of see, like, this side of the street is cloudy. Look how deep that snow is over there. And then that side of the street is kind of sunny. You can kind of see the difference. Not really, but <laughs> I like to think that I can. So now I'm after the train. Just look at how fast all of this is melting. The snow is like getting obliterated. And I just got splashed with slush. Awesome. Awesome. But I'm not depressed about it because I had a fun interaction on the train. It's actually one of the first time I've actually had a fun interaction on the train. Um, there were, because it was so warm inside and so cold outside, or however science works, um, the windows were all foggy. Every time there's a car, I'm like, I want to run for cover because they all splash me. <laughs> all the snow is falling everywhere. Anyway, uh, all the windows were all foggy, and so there were some kids drawing on the window, and some kid wrote in English, and it was wrong. So I, I decided, like, hey, I'm an English teacher. I should fix that. So I just leaned over and I made the correction, and they were like, oh, oh. And I was like, yeah, you just got schooled. And then I wrote, you should study English on the fog window. And they were like, what's it say? Oh! And I was like, well, I rest my case. <laughs> and then we stopped interacting, but it was very funny. I, I had a good time. Here comes another car. I'm afraid of going over here though, because there are power lines up here, and there's snow dropping down. Oh, it's an obstacle course. So there's a teacher using this type of slab of cardboard as a shovel. And another teacher who had a shovel, but it had holes in it. Designed that way. No brooms, though. So, today, Cliff Man confirmed that he has three younger siblings. Two boys and one girl. So, I had a seizure. Just right there in class, I just dropped it. I was like, what? What? Oh my god. So I think that that kid that I suspected is Cliff Kid is actually Cliff Kid, and then there's some girl that I have to find. He didn't confirm their ages, but um, I'm gonna find out. I'm gonna, I'm gonna have to find out. He's got a pretty common last name, so I have a lot of them that I have to sift through. But uh, I'll, f I'll f you know, if Cliff Boy and Cliff Man look exactly the same, then I'm going to assume that. Cliff Kid and Cliff Girl look exactly the same as well, so I'm excited. It's a new fun game that I'm going to engage myself in. Yatta! So for lunch today I had the same classroom, but a different lunch group. And um, I was sitting across from this kid who looked like he really wanted to talk, but he didn't know what to talk about. And um, the kid that I had role played with as Goku and Pikachu yesterday leans over and he's like, man just role play <laughs> and the the uh the kid sitting across from me looks at looks at him and is like no that's really stupid you looked like an idiot yesterday <laughs> this is what i'm guessing they're talking about um and so the the role-playing kid 
is like, fine, I'm just gonna do it then. So he's like, my sensei, today, you're Solid Snake. I was like, okay, I'm Solid Snake, got it. And he's like, I'm still Pikachu. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, okay. I think he does that just so he won't have to speak English. Ow. Just looked right into the sun. Um, so, when I displayed my knowledge of Solid Snake, which is that of hiding under a box, he was amazed and impressed. There's this cat here who's looking at like he wants to kill me. Um, he was amazed and impressed, and all the other kids came running over like, no, no, it's a lie. You don't really know about Solid Snake. And I was like, sorry, I'm very distracted by that cat. It's like glaring at me. Cats are so evil, you know. Um, so all the other kids in the class came running over like, you don't know about Solid Snake. They were saying like, so, so, so. They just didn't believe it. And I was like, I don't actually know. They, then they started asking me about like various characters. And I was like, I don't really know anything about Solid Snake. I just, I played Super Smash Brothers with him in it some, a little bit and know who he is based on that. But they, they were like asking me about various characters and I had no idea. But they were still really impressed. It was funny. And um, so I, I assumed he has a gun. So I, I shot Pikachu and Pikachu died. So two days in a row I've killed Pikachu. So I think I've, I think I'm doing well. <laughs> So I had awesome enthusiastic kids class today, and he was like, my sensei, do you remember my name? And I was like, of course I do. He quizzed me for like 10 minutes. And um, so he was like, say it, say my name if you remember it. And I was like, oh crap. Because <laughs> I suddenly was like, is it Shinjiro or is it Shunjiro? And I just kind of looked at him and I was like, Shinjiro. And he was like, yay! So I still don't don't really know which one it is. I still have three more layers, and I, I wore that all day during class. Ugh. So, um, I forgot to do Pit with Pictage this morning. Oops, sorry. Uh, I'll do it tomorrow morning. Um. um. Broken Foot Kid was absent today. It was sad because um, I expected him to be hilarious. Um, oh yeah, something really huge happened today. All the sixth graders from various uh, schools came to the middle school because they're going to be here in April. And um, it was really cute because they, they would like stand in the back of the classroom and a bunch of kids came running in just like without knocking or anything and they just started like looking over people's shoulders like what are you doing what are you looking at and i'm standing at the front of the classroom like this is kind of awkward and um then a kid comes rolling by and he was like huddle and i was like oh hi and he was like who are you you know he started like speaking to me in english like really easy english of course and i was like oh I'm very excited to have you in my class next year because you seem like the next Awesome Enthusiastic Kid because Awesome Enthusiastic Kid is graduating. Um, and then of course my sixth graders from my elementary school were there too. So they came walking by and they were like, man, that's it! And I was like, oh my god. So they all came in and I was like, I'm sorry, I'm disrupting the class. And the teacher was like, it's fine, because it's not like any of the kids were paying attention because there were so many distracting elements to the class. Um, and so, <laughs> switching gears really quick, um, there's this one seventh grade class that I adore so much, and I only just realized today how much I love them. They're all so attentive and smart and work hard, and I really enjoy going to their class, but I, I didn't realize it until today. I just looked around and I was like, I love this class. This is a great class. So, um, I'm actually kind of sad that in a couple of weeks their class is going to be broken up and redistributed when they become 8th graders. But, um, I'll survive, I guess. Um, yeah, and I have kind of a, hmm, I already told a story about Cliffman today, but I'll tell this one anyway. Um, Cliffman, he was sitting, he sits in the back of the classroom, 
just sitting there being cool. And um, <clears throat> all of a sudden he just shouts the, the rudest of all swear words in English. You know the one. <laughs> and I was like, oh! you know, because no one else could understand it. But I heard it and I was just kind of like, hey, that was very rude. And I think he, it didn't occur to him that I was going to understand what he said. Because maybe it's just something that he says. Because he looked up at me and he was like, oh, oops. <laughs> you know, I saw this look in his eyes like, oh no, what, what do I do? And I was just kind of like, that was so rude. So, um, that w it was really funny, actually, and then he came up afterwards and he apologized. He was like, oh, I'm sorry, I made something, and I was like, yeah, you better be. <laughs> no, I didn't. I was fine. I survived. Anyway, that's all. Bye. 39 more days until something epic happens.